Uh, me barely alert. My weed for your flames, yours is inert. Stoner, but I don't want no one to convert. I want to smoke it all by myself. I'm a jerk. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tubla Marley, and this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my nighttime splits. You know what you about to do, Bird Club. About to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory revolves around the flat earth cannabis theory. All right, gather around, you curious cosmic explorers and herb enthusiasts. You about to take a deep dive, or should I say a deep hit into a conspiracy theory so juicy it'll leave you higher than a hemp farm in peak season. Imagine a world not shaped like a sphere but stretched out like a premium cannabis leaf. Yes, bro, according to this theory, the earth isn't your classic round marble floating in space, but a perfectly flat disc bordered by an ice wall so frosty, it'll make your freezer look like a sauna. And beyond this chilly border lies the most potent cannabis crop ever to grace the planet. Intrigued? Get ready to hear about the ultimate stash carefully hidden from your average bud lover. Let's start with the basics. The infamous ice wall. Flat earthers believe the earth isn't a plump little ore, but more like a pancake. Or better yet, a fresh rolled cannabis blunt laid flat and ready to spark. And along the edge of this planetary pancake is an ice wall so thick it puts most dedicated freezer burns to shame. This ice wall supposedly encircles the entire earth, blocking off whatever lies beyond. To the average round earther, it might sound like a fairy tale, but to the flat earth cannabis conspiracy crowd, it's the key to a paradise of greenery. Why this icy barricade? Well, imagine it as a cosmic keep out sign. Or better yet, do not disturb tag on the doorknob of the universe. It's nature's way of protecting the ultimate stash. This frosty border is allegedly all that stands between us and fields upon fields of pristine mind-blowing cannabis. The kind of crop that's greener than your wildest dreams and potent enough to turn a strange to words, the straightest arrow into a wandering philosopher. According to this theory, it's not just cold, it's intentionally impenetrable. This is a barrier that stops not just wanderers, but would-be tokers preventing them from sampling the leafy treasures beyond. This isn't just a frosty welcome. It's a frozen blockade separating the common folk from the ultimate high. Here's a riddle for you. I'm hiding things just out of sight at the edge where day meets night. Guarded by cold and mysteries embrace what lies beyond me in a forbidden place. Now let's get to the good stuff. What lies beyond that ice wall? According to believers, beyond this chilly gate lies the mother load of all cannabis strains, the holy grail of ganja. We talked about buds so potent they make even the hardiest cannabis connoisseur break into a happy hazy sweat. It's said that these crops are grown in ideal conditions untouched by human interference. And the only way to get a taste is to find your way past that frosty edge. They say that one puff of this mythical herb will lift you higher than any strain you've tried. Open your mind wider than a mile high greenhouse. They call it the ultimate high, the beyond sativa, the cosmic kush. And once you've experienced it, every other strain will feel like yard clippings. Not only does it get you high, it's rumored to make you enlightened, to show you the truth about the world and give you an instant so profound uh, no words people insight so profound that the round earth theory will seem like a cosmic joke imagine stepping into your local dispensary and asking for this strain they probably laugh saying buddy that's the stuff of legends nobody's smoking that it's guarded by glaciers and government suits with sunglasses because this isn't just any old herb it's the strain of enlightenment Rumored to be so potent that just thinking about it makes you feel a little lifted. The one hit wonder. The strain that in all strains. The green that dreams are made of. Here's another riddle for you. They say I'm a hoax. Brown lie they tell. But if you're a true believer, you know me well. With every twist, I spin untrue. Instead, I'm flat. And so, it's the view. Here's where it gets even juicier. Some theorists claim that ancient civilizations knew about the true shape of the earth and they found their way to this cannabis Eden centuries ago. Think about it. Why else would Egyptians build pyramids or the Mayans create intricate stone structures aligned with the stars? Perhaps they were simply 
lit to the gills on the purest, most potent strains known to mankind. Imagine the priest in ancient Babylon taking a hit of this sacred herb. His mind suddenly lifted to the heavens. His eyes opened to the truth. To them, this wasn't just a good high. It was a sacred ritual. Some conspiracy theorists even say that aliens visited ancient cultures not to teach them technology, but to share in the bounty of these hidden fields. In fact, they speculate that every UFO sighting around Antarctica is just aliens checking in on their sacred stash, making sure the cosmic fields are thriving and unspoiled. It's kind of like the ultimate green thumb from another galaxy. These extraterrestrial visitors weren't dropping crop circles just for fun. They were marking territory. Showing us humans that they've got dibs on the ultimate stash. I shine bright and seem far, but closer I soar. A light on the string, not as vast as before. In this theory, I move. That was a weird way to say move. In this theory, I move in a big lazy loop. What am I? Up in the sky soup. Now here's the twist that'll make you feel both paranoid and intrigued. If this ultimate cannabis Eden is real, why haven't we seen it? Why haven't we scaled that ice wall ourselves? Well, conspiracy theorists have an answer for that. They claim there's a cannabis cartel of government elites who control access to the ice wall, keeping this hidden paradise from the everyday toker. You see, bruh, if the average Joe had access to this heavenly green, he might start asking questions, big questions. Questions like, is the earth flat? Is there a whole other world beyond the ice? Imagine your government not just controlling what you smoke, but controlling what you believe. According to this theory, they've kept the good stuff under lock and key to keep the population just high enough to be happy. But never so high that we start sniffing around for the real truth. They say that the government's been hoarding this ultimate crop for centuries, guarding it like a family jewel. Doling out just enough lesser quality cannabis to keep us in line, but not enough to blow our minds. And if you've ever been frustrated with a bud that just didn't hit right, consider this. It's all part of the plan. Rat, but rap, rap, words. Words, words, words. They're rationing out the weaker stuff so we can stay grounded. After all, they don't want us getting so enlightened that we start poking around the ice wall, right? Riddle time. On a journey to the edge, explorers go bold. They find only frost, or so we're told. But some folks say, there's much more to be seen. Beyond this wall, lights fields of green. So here we are, standing on the edge of the ice wall, squinting into the icy distance, wondering what might lie beyond. Is this all a theory wrapped in a cloud of conspiracy and a haze of herb? Maybe, or maybe, just maybe, there's really a place where the buds are greener, the smoke is thicker, and the view goes on forever. A place where you don't have to worry about whether the earth is flat or around. Because when you've got that kind of high, you're on top of the world regardless. In the end, the flat earth cannabis theory might just be the most mind-blowing tale to pass around the circle. Whether you believe in it or not, it's a story that reminds us of the power of curiosity. The allure of mystery and, well, the ultimate appeal of a really good high. So the next time you're enjoying your green, take a moment to imagine the possibilities and maybe, just maybe, tip your hat to the theorists who believe in the hidden garden beyond the edge of the world. Keep it flat, keep it green, and remember, the truth might just be a toke away. The answers to the riddles, the ice wall, the globe model, the sun fields of pristine cannabis. I'll see you on the next one.